What to do is cash out, Mr. Cashing Out. And I want to salute to Mike E.T., the movie star, you dig? Real talk, man. We in here, we cashing out. Big business. Yeah. Great um, body of work, you know, my second mixtape as a rapper. You know, first one was called It's My Time, you know, the classic top and bottom. And that's what i just been giving them, great music top to bottom, where you can just throw a CD in. That's what somebody tweeted me the other day. It was like, man, you can just throw this in, and there ain't too many tapes out like that that just ride top to bottom. You know, you got artists who be like, I ain't going to put this on the tape. Right? This is what I work for, you know. This is what I do. Make, try to make good music every time I go in the booth. I don't go to play. I don't go to, you know, hey, say, hey, I'm going to just chill and say this today. Nah, it's about trying to, make a, trying to make a single every time, if not a great record, you know. And that's what I do, man. And, um, you know, and that's why I put together this great mixtape, Top to Bottom. You got to change this good, good street music, good love making music, good lady music, good dancing music, good club music. Oh it's man, just... I said something French in ASAP and back, respect to Free Mac is old too, man. Respect to Mac, man. You know, um, just real. Gucci, you already know. We in the same city, so we linked up like two real men. You know, we made that happen. Diamond, beautiful, sexy, independent. I love you. We just, um, you know, um, got together and just got in the studio. She was like, shit, you know, she's so real. She was like, shit, let's get it. And so, you know, we went in there and made that magic on drip. And I gave it to him, man. You know, um, just let him know I'm still here. Bases Loaded is definitely still here. We had a great year. Platinum record. Uh, number one record for five weeks straight. Went number two on rhythmic charts. Still going crazy to this day, you feel me? That's it's been a long run, you feel me, for with Cash Out. We don't we had went this whole up big booty. We on the third single now, but Cash Out was so strong, you feel me? Yeah, man, it was definitely beautiful working at home though, man, because I knew I was gonna make a quick project, man, you know, knock it straight out, you know, it don't take me long to put these songs together, get the tape ready and put it out. So it was a great great tape when we first dropped it, you know, um, and we talking about views, like it had like 120,000 downloads the first day, so, you know, that's, that would have been great if it was a fucking album, you feel me? <laughs> I just sat down and was like, you know, we already had it, mixtape, man, Keisha, was like, what's the name for an album? I was like, shit, we had to be patient, you feel me? We go through a lot of things and ups and downs and, that's the key, man. You know, sometimes God really want to see if it's going to make it, make you or break you. You feel me? He do certain things for a reason. You know, it's not on purpose. It's definitely for a reason. So, you know, um, so we, we was like, man, let's call it patience. Patience is definitely a virtue. You know, um, they, 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 they was patient because they pushed it back. That's why we was able to drop the next tape. So, you know, I guess they understand, they understood the title. So, you know, you know, you know for being patient and you know, pushing it back. So, you know, um, we felt like it was a lot of things we needed to do. You know, Cashing Out was a great record, you feel me? Number one, you know, almost over a million sold. So, you know, um, we still felt like it was a lot of things missing, you feel me? It's always, you know, it's just like a rookie coming in, that's just like LeBron, you know, he came in good, you feel me, he wasn't, but he always knew it was, it was that next year and the year after that and the year after that, it's always on um, room for improvement and things like that, so that's how we felt going into the album, it's definitely room for improvement, and, um, you know, a lot of things that we missed last year, you feel me, and that we can do this year, you feel me, so it's about the team getting together and having that time to strategize things out and figure out what we're going to do, you feel me, and to have a great album.